Okay, planner buddy! Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you some very exciting things that I got recently in the past couple of months, like maybe one or two months. So I had said that I was gonna do a little video showing all the things that I've gotten from small shops recently, and that is what today's video is. I'm super excited because lately I have been getting more into buying from smaller sticker shops. It's just, it, it's always been tricky for me to do so because it's obviously more expensive to shop small sticker shops because it is more expensive because you know it's just one person usually doing all the work and all this stuff but i really do want to support smaller shops i think it is such a great way to like support the planner community back you know just like putting back into the planner community and it's also just amazing to see like how many different and like original designs and stickers that people come up with because like people are so creative and it's honestly just like so inspiring and I will be hopefully buying more you know I've been like budgeting a little bit better buying less happy planner stuff because their stuff it's good and obviously it is like I guess you get more stickers for the price but lately I haven't been loving everything and I have decided that you know I have a lot of happy planner stickers so I kind of want to use up as much as I can before buying more, even though I have been buying more, but I haven't been buying as much as I used to in the past. Like I used to like almost get almost every sticker book, like, or just as many as if I kind of liked it, I, I bought it. But now I'm being much more picky in what sticker books I buy from the Happy Potter so that I can spend more of my precious hard earned money on sticker shops and i have been loving it i'm obsessed i have been like looking at different shops i've been following a lot more shops on instagram and yeah so i'm gonna be sharing a lot of them that i have been following and buying from i don't have all of them in this video i am waiting on like three more orders two of them have shipped but all three are, i think are actually outside of the us so i think they are gonna take a little bit longer to get to me but when I do get those, I will be happy to share them in a video. I will probably buy a couple more things, to be honest. And I will make probably a part two to this video. So stay tuned and subscribe if you like to see this kind of content because I am super excited to be making more of these for you. So starting off with some principal stickers, I'm going to kind of divide them into sections. A lot of these you may have heard of already. Maybe some of them you haven't. So yeah, I will be linking all of their Instagrams in the description below so you can check out their Instagram and then through there you can go to their shops and things like that. If I have a discount code for them, I will also leave it down in the description because even though I am a rep for some of these, I still really love them and I use the stickers all the time. So I do want to share them with you, not just because I'm part of the rep team. I want to share them because I have been buying from them anyways, being separate from the rep team and I just really love the box. So starting off with printable stickers. I have this giant binder that I recently made because I have a lot of printables and I needed a nice way to organize them. I used to have them in here, like in this little tiny photo album. And then the ones that I hadn't printed, I had them in a folder, but that just wasn't working for me. It was just too much. So I needed something easier to flip through. And I saw this at Walmart this really what really got me was this first sheet that you'll see these are supposedly for baseball cards but i immediately thought they would be such a good idea for the cut up stickers that i use when i am creating spread so i thought that this was super cool and i hold a lot and i have some empty pages in the back so i can keep adding to them so yeah this first shop that I am showing you from is Let's Plan Together. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the videos that I have shown on my channel. I've done a couple, I've been a rep for a while now, a couple months, and I have been getting all of her stickers for a while and I've been sharing them as soon as they release on my YouTube channel, also on my Instagram. But let me tell you, I saw Paola's shop before I became a rep and I had it on my list to buy from her. But she actually asked me to join her rep team and of course I said yes because I loved her stickers before I even was on the rep team and I was so happy that I could be on the rep team 
and get some of her stickers and share them with all you guys and create really pretty spreads with them. So this was actually the first sticker sheet that I ever saw from her and I fell in love with this. And this sticker sheet is what made me want to buy stickers from her. And I was super excited when she sent this to me in my first wrap package. I'm just gonna be showing, I'm just gonna show you like my favorite ones. So yeah, these are principle stickers and they're really cool. What I like to do is I like to print them in two sizes because I like to mix and match sizes. So I usually do a full page and then I'll do half of the page. So this is half. So I'll do two sizes and then print them out on sticker paper. This is sticker paper from online labels. Just order a pack and you get it from there. I think there is also some good sticker paper on Amazon, I believe. So yeah, I just really like doing this with her stickers. These are really cool. These are from the latest release, the August release, I believe. This little adorable planner set in two colors. So yeah, I have a bunch of her stickers. And I even bought some, let me show you the ones that I got because I just had to have these. These are perfect. I had to buy these because they're just so pretty and I wanted as many as I could of these little sticker books and like all the planner supplies here are super super cute so yeah I just really love her shop even after my rep term is over I will still be purchasing from her because I've just gotten so used to using these in my daily spreads a lot in my planner spreads just all my spreads so I'm just super happy that I found this shop and you guys should totally check her out as well and support her because she does amazing art. Oh, that is another thing. She draws all of these. So all of these are original from her. Yeah, I'm gonna leave her Instagram in the description below. Also, I have a discount code for her shop since I'm on the rep team. If you use Amy10, you can get 10% off your order. Okay, so the next principal stickers that I have to share with you. This isn't an exclusively principal sticker shop like Let's Plan Together. This shop does have intangible and principal stickers, but I have really been into the principal stickers. So I just think it's just such a good deal to just have the file and you can print it as many times as you want. Like that's, I just love having unlimited amounts of that sticker. So then I'm not worried about hoarding them or saving one for a specific spread. I could just print more if I need to, if I'm missing one. So I just really love that aspect of the printable stickers. So this next shop, I did only order printable stickers from her shop, but she does have tangibles. And I'm sure you guys have maybe heard of this shop, but she's really popular, I think, on Instagram. This is Caitlin Plan. So I just ordered, I mean, she's been on my to buy from list for forever, probably since she like opened her shop because her designs are so beautiful. Like they're just so beautiful. I love the details that she puts into her stickers and I just really love her art. She is just so good at drawing, honestly. Look at these little penguins. I think these might be my favorite, I don't know. I just love these. So I bought only like animals for some reason. I realized after I just bought them all, I bought mostly animals. I do want to go back and buy, oh, I'm missing more inserts. That's why the rest of them are in the back. But yeah, I did the same thing where I printed a bigger sheet and then half of the size as well. So yeah, I just printed a bunch of like animals and like the queen bee. I just really love her art and I am going to be buying more. I have, I think I have them saved on my Etsy, like in the cart, you know, how you just add everything to your cart and then you check out later. So I have a couple more added to my cart. I think I just bought 10 this time. And honestly, it's just nice to support a small shop, you know, just you're trying to make a living at it. And if I had my own sticker shop, I would really want people to buy my stuff. That is all for the principal stickers that I have so we're just gonna set that outside next I'm going to go into another little adorable sticker shop I followed this sticker shop for a while before I ultimately joined on the rep team and I had had a lot of stickers in my cart as I was saying about the other one I had a lot of stickers in my cart and I had been wanting to purchase them for a while and then when she opened up her applications for the rep team, I decided to try and go for it and I got it and I was super excited. 
because now I could get some stickers to share with you guys and to use myself. And then of course, I have already ordered some as well. So the shop I'm talking about is Pineberry Paper. It's seriously the most adorable little sticker sheet shop that I, I think, I don't know, I think it's one of my favorites. I have so many little sticker sheets. Some of these are, I got from my rep team package. Some of these I bought, like these little pumpkins I recently bought because I thought they were just so cute. I just really love all of her stickers. She mostly has these smaller sheets, but recently she has been releasing bigger sheets. These are, you see, these are almost gone because I've used them all, but she has bigger size sheets. These work better in your like classic planners if you have like Happy Planner or any other like bigger kind of planner like that. These small ones I think work really well for like a daily maybe or they also really work well in a mini planner. So I've been using these a lot in my mini planner. I think like every week so far in my mini planner is Pineberry paper stickers. But yeah, I'm just I just love her designs and her stickers. I really also like the paper quality. I don't know what paper this is or if this is just regular paper, but it doesn't feel regular. It just feels a bit more like nice and like really soft. So I just really like her stickers these are really cute these will be gone by the end of the month probably because I'm gonna be using them in my planner I've been waiting for to use some of these in the fall so now that it's fall time basically I can use them these are my absolute favorite I kind of wish I had ordered like five more of these because they're just so pretty and I don't want to use them but I am gonna use them so make sure to also check out my Instagram because there I'm going to be posting all of the spreads. I usually post a reel when I get a package from a small sticker shop. I like to do reels and show all of the cute stickers that I got. Just a little fun quick haul. I love doing those kinds of reels. So check out my Instagram if you want to see, if you want to keep up with which shops that I'm buying from. So with Pineberry Paper, I am on the rep team. So I have a discount code, it is Amy10, and you will get 10% off your order. And you will also get this little freebie that says Pineberry Paper X Secret Planning Society. So if you order and use my code, you will receive this beautiful little sticker freebie that is from like lavenders. They're just so pretty and I really love them. She also sent me some little freebies in my order. Yeah, this is my order, not my rep package. She sent me a bunch of little cute freebies this is a, like see this one is super cute and she also sent some little dots i hadn't seen these in her shop before but i think they're really cute these would be cool for like the months maybe to cover up or highlight a month i think that'd be kind of cool because they are transparent and you can see through them so i just think these are really cute and they have cute colors as well and then these are just cool this was a little thank you note and it has her little bunny which is like her logo and this works as a really nice print and then this is like the receipt but it is also like a really cool little print and i really like this i think i will be putting these two up here once i redo this whole thing so yeah that is pineberry paper remember about the rep code i'll leave that in the description below okay so the next sticker shop that i'm going to be sharing with you guys is called sticker guru and look at this packaging, it's just so, so pretty. So I found Sticker Guru on Instagram. I think they followed me and then I followed them back and then I just saw how cool their whole shop is. It's a two sisters that run the shop and they just have such cute designs and they do like kits, like monthly kits, journaling kits, like a whole set of stickers for like a month or a week but yeah i had been following them for a while and then they were part of the go wild sale that happened recently so i decided to get some things just to try them out and see if i like their stuff so look at the inside of their packaging it's so pretty like this is this is so cool and like i've never seen a package like this before it's super super cool but yeah i didn't get that many things from their shop because i kind of was on a budget but i did manage to get a couple things so the first thing that I got was a journaling card. As I've said, I really want to redo this board. So I thought that this one would be really perfect for here. It actually reminds me of a park that I went to here. I think it was last year. 
and I don't know, it was just really calming and, and really nice and I like the little swans. But yeah, I really like this print a lot so I decided to get it. Another thing that I had seen this on their Instagram and I remember wanting it. And then I kind of, I guess I forgot about it, but then when I saw it on their website, I instantly remembered that I really, really wanted it. So I bought it, of course. It's these transparent sticky notes, but they have this cool little pattern on them. I don't know. I just thought it was just so cute and so cool. And I just had to have them for writing as a sticky note, but I also thought it'd be super cool in like a spread as like a background. I don't know. I think there's only like 20 in here. So I'm going to be very, very selective of... How I use these but I am super excited to get these and I will probably just end up buying more to be honest because I'm gonna want to hoard them in terms of stickers I got all these little tiny sticker sheets I think these are part of their monthly like kits that come or their subscription box that they do every month I think that's where these come from or they just come from in a kit I think but they were selling them individually so I decided to get some just to try them out so they also came with this really cool freebie they do a lot of foil sheets which I think is super cool and I really love foils these are like a mini and like look at this blue it's so pretty so these are like mini like sunset and tropical kind of stickers which is perfect for me because you know I'm from Florida so I'm excited to try these out I haven't I don't think I've ever done like a blue foil like this but I'd be really excited to try this out but I think I'm gonna have to wait until next summer because summer is practically over and I'm starting to get into fall mode moving on to the stickers that I bought these are actually on sale so they were like super cheap I believe I can't remember they were probably like two dollars I think because it was like on you know the go wild sale so there was also a deal I got a lot of florals because you know me I love my florals this one is March March monthly deco super cute with little green leaves I'm thinking about using these like in a monthly, like in a mini monthly, maybe a mini spread or a monthly spread. I think that'd be kind of cute to use since they're kind of small. This one is April. I really like this color. It's very muted, very wintry. I thought this one was very good for winter. Next is May. I really like these flowers, super cute. This one is June. I really like the colors of this, reminds me of fall. So I'll probably use it for fall. Next is July super cute for fall as well also kind of summery and then the last two aren't for like a month these are just like themes so this one is called feeling at home which i think is super pretty i really like this one like the plants and the colors so it's very calming to me so i really like this one and then the last one you guys know me and my disney obsession so when i saw the sticker sheet of course i had to have it this one is called happy place but look Look how cute! Like the Mickey ears, the book bag. No, that's a hat. The hat, the book bag, the cupcake. I just love it. And they had a, a mask, but you know, <laughs> that's okay. I just really love it. It's just so pretty. So I'm super excited about this one. So yeah, that was my small haul from Sticker Guru. I hope to be purchasing from them more in the future. So I'll always be sharing anything that I buy over on my Instagram, as I said before. So make sure to check out Sticker Guru. They have some really cool things. I want to get more of their different like kits and things like that to, to show you guys. So we'll see when it's in the budget to buy more things. Okay, so the next store is probably one of my favorites or at least it's the one that I bought the most from I think it is in here this little this little album is from Dollar Tree I believe and then this little sticker I just put it on here I had it from I don't know somewhere but anyway it still works it's like 25 pages so this one is pretty good for like small sticker sheets like four by six anything bigger will not fit in here but it works for this shop because this shop just has tiny tiny sheets look at these sheets and I have so many of these, you guys. I don't know how many orders I placed from this shop, but when I first discovered them, I don't even know how I found them. I just found them on Instagram, and I just love little icon stickers like these. So this is Piper Paper Company, and this page is called Social Media Deco. So these are just basically tiny, tiny icons, and I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with these. Okay, I just love tiny stickers. And I love to put these in my weekly spreads as like, you know, I went grocery shopping. Put a little grocery icon there. It's just, I don't know, it's just my favorite thing to do in my planner for some reason. And I have a bunch, like, 
I have a bunch in each because they don't all fit in here because I need a bigger album because I have so many. But just look at all these. Look at these printer ones. Like, there's some crafty ones back here. All the planner ones. You know I gotta get a bunch of planner, planner stickers, little stingy notes, calendars, pens. I just love it. And then these are for like Happy Mail. So in conclusion, I really love this store. I'm just obsessed. I use it every week, every week, every day. There's always these stickers all over my spreads. So I just have a bunch as you can see and I like to categorize them. But yeah, this is Piper Paper Company and they're usually really cheap. And obviously these, this was the old size that she used to do, but these are the bigger ones, which I think are a lot better. And I think right now they retail for like 50 cents a sheet, which is pretty good if you ask me. And shipping does take a little bit, but I think it's worth it. And I just really love these stickers. So if you love little tiny, tiny icons and you're looking for different ones, yeah, just different ones. And she has a lot of variety, I think. So yeah, and she's always constantly updating her store. So there's always something new. There's always like very functional ones, more fun ones. I just love her shop, honestly, and yeah, I'm super excited. I'm obviously going to be ordering more, much, much more in the future. So yeah, I'm probably going to need a second album of hers or something. But yeah, that was Piper Paper coming, and as always, I'm going to be leaving everything in the description box below. Okay, next I'm going to be showing two sticker shops that I discovered when I went to Florida Supercon in July this year. At the conventions and things like that, like anime conventions and things, they always have a section for artists, like just like smaller artists, because there's obviously the big artists that like, you know, have like the big prints and the big money, but there's always like artist alley which is for like smaller like sticker shops and things like that and i usually just like walk by there and don't really pay attention but this year when i went i fully decided to just like go and like look at every shop and i loved it so much i wanted to buy from like a bunch of them i did buy from a couple of shops but most of them were like prints so these were the two that i bought stickers from and I so wish that I had more money because I would have bought a lot more from these shops. The first one that I'm going to be sharing with is called, I'm so sorry if I miss say this because I don't really know, but it's called Chisorichan, I think. So yeah, this is her little card. There's all her info. Let me see if I can, hopefully you guys can see that. But yeah, anyways, I'll link it down in the description. So she had really, really cool art. Actually, what caught my attention for her booth was this print. It is so pretty. Look at it. It's just, this is a world that I totally want to live in. It's just so cozy and so cool. I don't know. I just really loved her art. And as always, I'm going to be putting it here probably for sure. That's why I bought this. But I just thought it was so pretty. And she had a bunch of these different kinds. There was a couple more that I wanted to buy. But, you know, I wanted to save some money for other shops and things. But if I ever see her again at like a convention or something like that, I will definitely buy it again from her because I just love it. Even the back of her card is just such a pretty like art that you could totally like just put here. I don't know, I just really love her aesthetic of these. And this series is just super, super nice. So I'm just super happy that I got these prints. Those are prints, sorry. But I do have stickers from her shop. I have two. One is super, super pretty and then one is just hilarious i died when i saw this sticker sheet but anyways the first sticker sheet is called midnight mushroom look how pretty this is and it's on black so obviously it's gonna have like a little black border but i think it's be so pretty for like a blackout spread i really wanted to do like a fall blackout spread with this one but i also don't want to because then i won't have the stickers anymore but i'm trying to not hoard things but anyways, look how pretty these stickers are and the colors are so vibrant. I just love these little mushrooms. Honestly, I probably should have got two, but look how pretty it is. I just really, really love the sticker sheets. And then next, this sticker sheet just, just had me laughing when I saw it. And a couple of my friends also thought it was super funny because I mean, I like ducks a lot. I don't know like why, I just really like ducks. So when I saw this sticker sheet, I thought it was so hilarious. This one is called the Drunk Duck sticker sheet and just look at these ducks they're just so hilarious i thought it was so funny and obviously they're drawn like this on purpose but i just think that's hilarious and just so cool and 
don't know i just love them i know somebody some people will probably absolutely think why did you spend money on this or those are horrible but i think they're hilarious like it's drunk ducks like of course they're gonna be like this and i don't know they're just so funny look at them i'm just gonna just gonna show them here because they deserve some appreciation <laughs> i don't know how i'm gonna use these in a spread but i'm gonna make them cute but yeah i just really love them so yeah, this is this shop that I found at Superfun, which I am super excited that I found her. Again, the name is Chisori Chan, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna link her down below. And of course, I followed her on Instagram just to keep up with her and see if she ever comes down here again, because I will definitely be buying from her again. The next artist that I also discovered at Supercon is called Peppercut Studio and she also has another Instagram called Julianne Doodles. This is like her personal one and this is her shop one so I think you could just check out both. She was so nice. I stopped at her booth all three days of Supercon and she was always so nice and so sweet each day so yeah and honestly she was my favorite of the whole experience so that is why i bought the most from her and i'm just super excited i kind of regretted not buying more of her sticker sheets but i can always buy from her shop but yeah i really love her stuff her stuff is more geared towards like anime and like cartoons and things like that but i really love it so the first sticker sheets oh wait let me start with prints actually so i bought two prints from her the first one is so cute look at this oh and i absolutely love her art style it's just so like pretty and like simple i just really love it and like look at these colors so yeah that is snorlax from pokemon and totoro from my neighbor totoro I just thought this was super cute. I also love like the mixing of like the worlds, I guess. And they're like at a little bus stop underneath the little leaves. I thought this was just adorable. Isn't this just adorable? And obviously I got prints for my little print mall thing. And then the next one that I got is just so cute. This one is Jigglypuff from Pokemon and then Nezuko from Demon Slayer. I thought it was so cute. And like, I love how she's combining um, Pokemon with like anime kind of characters. She also had another one and actually she had a couple honestly and i really wanted to buy them all which i should have because <laughs> i kind of regretting it now but they're so cute and then also the quality of the printing is just super nice and like the paper but yeah look how adorable that is oh, i just love it and now moving on to her stickers so the first set that i got is kirby look how cute i love it and i this was the actually i think the set that i saw from far away that like drew me to her booth so i was like oh my gosh i have to get these and then these are like little washi strips this is like kirby with like i think strawberry cheesecake or something like that or strawberry shortcake either one it's just so cute ah, so cute i'm just the next set is totoro from my neighbor totoro Look at these, they're so pretty. I love the combination of the flowers. And I just love like the muted colors. They're just so, so cute. Look at these. Oh my gosh. It's just so cute. <laughs> I really like this one. They're all just so cute. I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to use these, honestly. The next one is some uh, Pokemon plants. Like plant Pokemons. I think these are just so cute. I just really love them all. How adorable is that? And then the last one is from Kiki's Delivery Service, but in like her cute style of drawing. I just really, really love her style of drawing. And I'm just, oh, I love it. I love it. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to use these. I keep saying that, but honestly, I do not know. So yeah, this is Peppercut Studio. Make sure to check her out on Instagram. And she recently did new prints. So the next time I ever see her at a convention, I definitely want to hit up her booth and buy all the things i'm not gonna hold back so that was it for stickers now i'm gonna be moving in to washi tapes because i have a lot of fun like washi tape kind of things for you guys so the first washi tape shop that i have for you guys is called wonder washi tape amy from wonder washi tape reached out to me and she said that she wanted to send me some of her washi tapes and i said yes because the picture she showed me was so cute and i absolutely wanted to have these washi tapes they were these. Look how cute these are. These are little fruit and avocados and like little peppers. 
I just thought they were just so cute. So this set is called Farmer's Market, and I am so glad that she decided to send these to me. These three are my favorites, and the lemon is my all-time favorite because I just love lemon things, but I really would have bought the, this set on my own if I would have found her before. She's not that big, which is honestly a shame because these washi tapes are such good quality and they are just such cute designs. Really guys, go check her out and go follow her because she really deserves all the support and I really, really love this set of washi tapes. She also sent me her previous collection, which was in summer. And these have some really cute, uh, I hope that you can focus. These have really cute summer designs. This is like a little sunglasses. This one is just like grid, blue grid. This one is really cute. Two leaves, one monstera leaf, and then these other, other like cool little plants. And then we have these little cute umbrellas and then this little kind of like leopard print. So yeah, these are the summer ones and I haven't used these yet because they're summer and pretty much out of summer at this point, but I will be doing or saving them for next summer. I might be able to include this one in some spreads. Actually, this one and this little leopard print one as well. So yeah, I really like the size of these washi tapes. I've been more into thinner washi tapes recently. I used to be all into the, like the thicker ones, but ever since I got like that thin polka dot one, I've been really into these kind of washi tapes so yeah this is wonder washi tape make sure to check her out she totally deserves all the support and really you can never have enough washi tape in my opinion so last but not least i'm going to be sharing with you the last little sticker shop that i have it is a shop that i've already shared here on my instagram not my instagram this is my youtube channel <laughs> this shop is called a girl boss anna so if you guys remember a while back i shared some washi tapes that she sent me and then these are the little freebies that always come. I've already used some of them. These are actually not your typical washi tape. They're actually called washi overlay tapes. So Anna reached out to me over on Instagram and honestly, I hadn't heard of her shop before and I feel kind of bad that I hadn't heard of her shop because it is so good. But she reached out to me and said if I wanted to try some of her products and I said yes after looking at her Instagram and deciding that her aesthetic was one that I thought was really pretty and I thought that it would go very well with my own. So I said, yes, I would love to try out your stuff. So she sent me these beautiful sea goddess ones. And then she also sent me these, these are called nautical. These are a little thinner. And basically what these are, I already did a video of this. So check out my channel, check out my planning fun playlist to see the haul that I did. And also like just showing more in detail of like these little washi tapes. So these are like washi tapes, but they're like sectioned off, right? So you can just peel it off. It's like a sticker in a washi tape form, basically. But they're called like overlay inks because you can overlay them on some things. More so the other ones that I'm gonna show you. But these are a little bit more washi material. These are great for layering underneath things. These are great for headers. And I've already used them in a couple of threads. So check out my Instagram, you will see them there. I always tag her and I always link where I use them. But yeah, those are the ones that she sent me. And then, when the wild sale hit, I definitely checked out her shop because she was gonna have a sale. And I was like, I need some more of her tapes because I have really enjoyed using those. But I wanted some of her more, like her signature washi inks that she has. So they're like these. Oh. And I did a little swatch reel on my Instagram. So go check that out if you wanna see me placing these on and seeing how they look on happy planner paper but yeah these are basically more of like what her most of her products look like so there are these these are super pretty so yeah it's just like this little swatch here and then that just comes off and you put it on your paper you put it over something you put it under something it just works out really great it's really great to add like a small swatch of color where you need it i just really love it you can really use it anyway there's just so many colors in her shop like i just got two sets but there's a couple others that i have my eye on so I will probably be getting those in the future. And when Anna sent me her washi tapes the first time, she was kind enough to provide me with an affiliate link to her shop. So if you guys click on that link, you can get 10% off or you can put in my code Amy10 and you will also get 10% off either way. So I think that is just super fun and super nice of her. So yeah, that was it for all of the shops that I'm sharing. I think that was nine shops and I really love all of them. I am so obsessed with buying from little sticker shops like I said, there's more coming and I probably will buy more so that that video will be a little longer and also because I can't control myself anymore. But 
I have really enjoyed buying from each of these little shops and checking out new things and just following more little sticker shops. There's a couple that I have my eye on. So let me know if you guys know any of these shops, if you guys have bought from any of these shops, if you have any recommendations for little sticker shops that I should get from as well. It definitely is more fun buying from small sticker shops than like buying from Happy Planner. No offense to Happy Planner. I mean, I love Happy Planner, but just something special about buying from like small sticker shops and I'm just so glad that I've recently been able to experience that but yeah I'm just super excited to share all these with you so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video stay tuned for the part two that will eventually come at some point let me know what was your favorite shop from all of these yeah I guess that's it I'll see you in the next video bye